perhaps a little better? I don't know. I get um, worried because the microphone's so small and far away. I get worried that you won't be able to hear me at all. But we'll see. Now, I've got, I made two videos. Um, one of them was, do you have ASMR whispered? And the other one was, new ASMR info softly spoken. And there we talked about ASMR and all kinds of stuff about it. And I got over a hundred comments. And that's great. If you haven't seen those two videos and you're interested in ASMR, it's a good idea. Uh, from the hundred comments and a few other sources poking around, I got some more information here. And um, I hope you like it. I always whisper anyway, because it's always that time at my channel. Uh, oh, I also got uh, some stuff here, uh, sort of things that people in the comments said was their favorite triggers. So I thought I'd try them out too, because if, if you're familiar with my stuff, I have made a couple of ASMR videos to, to trigger that, and um, they kind of stink. That's okay. Um, some of my early, well, some of my videos stink, but that's how I learned. So maybe I'll be able to, to improve, because I know compared to my earlier videos. Okay. Um, just let me get this here. Now, what have we got here? I'm going to have to wear the glasses. I start without them, because uh, I like to get the thumbnail at least without them, because I don't like wearing glasses. But I'm going to have to to see what's on here. Now, what have we got going on here? Let's see. Okay, just a little recap of what we already know. Is ASMR, it is a euphoric, tingling feeling with euphoria. Um, and it's triggered by things like whispering, soft speech, um, unusual speech, sounds that have little clicks in them. So I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. We'll see. Anyway, um, clicking, scratching, scraping sounds, um, also things like uh, uh, hair brushing, playing with hair, hair um, massage, um, things that um, require intense interest. Um, there's two types. We've got There's two types, uh, type A and type B. Now, A types, they can just like meditate and put themselves, trigger um, an ASMR attack just by meditating about it. And I'm going to be talking about possible links between ASMR and meditation later, because that's on here. Um, and then there's B types. Um, that that um, require a trigger, um, and it's an involuntary response. It doesn't happen on purpose, they just hear something and it happens. Um, now, like I said, I got over a hundred comments, you should read them in the other two videos, because um, you could publish them and make a book, it's so wonderful, like all these people's experiences and stuff, oh, it's just so cool, it totally rocks. Um, See, and um, these comments were kind of cool because people went right from everyone has ASMR to no one has ASMR but me, and I'm glad to find out I'm not alone. So, so there are people walking around out there thinking they're the only world, one in the world who has it, and other people thinking everybody in the world has it. Um, I think it's kind of somewhere in between. <laughs> some people have it and some don't. Now, I brought in um, some teenagers as guinea pigs and showed them some ASMR videos and said, hey, what do you think about this? And they were like, ah, oh, man, that makes me cringe. It's, um, it's, it's, yeah, I don't like that. This is not relaxing. This is very annoying. They were saying, these people very obviously, after being shown a wide range of ASMR videos, these people, um, I don't think they have. Uh, I 
have an extremely mild case, and that's another thing, is um, the people in the comments, we had people um, who had very, very little of it, and people who said things, um, I don't know if I'm getting the praise right, but it's literally oozing out of my pores, he said. I wish I could remember his name. Nice guy. Uh, so it, it varies in intensity. Um, there's going to be cool stuff a couple later if you're bored. I got all kinds of stuff. Not a feather. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Anyway, um, I'll do that later, though. Let's get the work out of the way and then we'll play. Okay. Um, very, very few people feel any shame about it. That's rare. Most people are very happy they have it. They're really thrilled and they think it's a good idea. So that's good. Um, to all these things that we've done in the previous videos, the, the core thing of the ASMR, if they do have it, is are you triggered into a state of intense, euphoric tingliness? Um, now I compared it to synesthesia, where that's where in your mind you see numbers or colors, um, and you have to see it that way, and it's not a choice. Um, and we had a lot of really good examples because a lot of people with ASMR had synesthesia. Not all of them, exceptions to the rule. I liked um, where Bob is orange and Fred is green and names have to be colors. That was really funny. Um, I should have wrote down the people's names. You deserve credit for these. They're great comments. Um, oh, Cyan Tuesday. Cyan, now there's a good color for Tuesday and Purple Thursday. And yeah, so that's, that's synesthesia type stuff here. And most, most of the people with ASMR have it, but not all of them. Not all people with ASMR stink at math, but most do. Um, most have left right confusion, but not necessarily. I'm going to edit out this cough now because it's going to be really loud and annoying. Hold one minute. You didn't want to hear that. Now, where am I? Where am I? Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, most of you, just about all of you, are creative. Um, now, here's a rare, some rare things that are a bit of a downside. Um, some rare people, um, it causes a headache. Um, some people get, um, afterwards, they have like a letdown or a little depression or sadness. Maybe because it's over or maybe it does something with your brain chemistry. Um, one person commented, and I was interested in this, please leave comments because I love them. And there is, there's literally, before I said hundreds of others in one of the comments, I said hundreds of other people are reading and appreciating this too, but it's turning into thousands, and there isn't much research out there on it. And, and yeah, people are interested. They want to hear what you have to say about it. Thousands of them. Um, so anyway, where was I before I was begging for comments? Come on, you're good. No, really. Um, Someday I'm going to publish them all. It's going to be a book. Um, yeah, they're sad. It's over now. Somebody, he said that there's an ASMR group on Facebook and um, that you talk to Envelopenomia. That's what he said. And I couldn't find it. Now, I'm, I'm not the best computer person ever. So maybe there isn't. I just couldn't find it, but I really couldn't. But because Sean Berry um, left that comment and I really couldn't back it up with any solid research, I got this company of plastic bag. That's really loud. Of potpourri. So this could be a trigger. That's kind of fun. I have very borderline, very borderline ASMR. I just have a little bit, but even without the tickles, I just find this. 
and you would like me to do a video about it, please just let me know um, because I'd like to do some ASMR videos. The ones I have suck. I'd like to do some good ones. Well, I don't know. I like the unboxing bubbles and bubble wrap. Anyway, what have we got here now? Let's see. Interesting stuff. Uh, now, here's another thing. Uh, Wikipedia, according to looking around about this, has taken ASMR out. They will not display a page on ASMR. I just edited out a verb. I'm having a hard time. Anyway, <laughs> um, they said there wasn't enough scientific evidence to back it up. Now that's a bit of a problem because there isn't very much scientific evidence out there on it. And look how bad it's gotten. We've got me, a crazy lady in her pajamas in her bedroom, forced to do this research. I don't know what Wikipedia is thinking. But anyway, yeah, they, they took it down. Um, what else have we got? Um, yeah, I have some questions if you could help me answer them. And they are, uh, the one comment there, the lady said she had migraines. Now, my daughter with ASMR. She has migraines, and um, she's had problems with that, and it just makes me curious, um, is there a connection between ASMR and headaches? Or, I heard rarely headaches, but is, do, do we have any migraine sufferers? I know this is unscientific, but you know, it's, it's all I can find for now, and it's kind of fun. Let's do this in a minute, too, so we have fun. I think okay. After this, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with my toys here for a minute, and after that, um, I'm going to go into wild speculation. I did this the last time, and it worked out really well. Uh, my speculation was that there was a link between ASMR and synesthesia, and uh, I think I, I think I was right. Um, for most people, but not all. Now, I've got another couple things that are close to ASMR that more is known about. So you can find out more about ASMR by seeing things that are very close to it. And I've got a little neurology here. I'm going to throw in my amateur neurology skills to my wild speculations. But first, let's, let's do this for a minute and have some fun. Um, I already massaged the whole brain. Now, what should be next? I think we'll go with this one. Excuse me, my glass is itching. Somebody said, and this is an idea, he said that he liked the sound of typing in keys. So, I bought this just recently. Um, it doesn't have everything it needs to hook up to the computer, unfortunately. That's okay. It's good. I don't know. I've got to get something else for it. Um, a cordless mouse, I guess it doesn't work without a cordless mouse. Anyway. Now, this is one of my favorites right here. I'm not the really good. Um, I did unboxing bubbles and bubbles out. Um, it didn't go over that hugely well. Some people like this, but um, I just like it. I don't know. So, okay. This is some living bubble wrap. This is a bubble wrap. You see it? I also have a whole 
playlist of things, videos that people might be doing. Um, how else do you know? so my manual dexterity is not that good, so I'm not a great typist, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. The quick brown box jumped over the lazy dog. Now is the Here's one, I have a feather. Okay. And then she said, oh, I'm sure you don't. up to the screen or you could choose any body part you want because I don't I don't know but let's make it your face because you know I, I could be you okay ready how's that you feeling it oh yeah that's really soft it's fun okay try on okay no he, he's not doing it right okay now what else have I got that's fun before I go into wild speculation about Hair. I love the feel of hair. Um, just as uh, so, I'm not too sure. Okay, I've got this one. It's kind of you know your prickly brush, and I've got that kind of brush. So we're gonna try doing that. I don't know if I'm any good at it, but let's give it a go. Which one should I use first? I like this brush best. So. Let's do this one. My hair is not too tangled.
to ASMR. I know I don't do the best as ASMR videos, but if you're new to the whole idea, if anything I just did made you feel very happy, um, and if you felt tingling, especially around your neck, uh, head, and down your back, uh, you might have ASMR. Uh, my other videos talk about your intelligence and your creativity. Um, questions though, do you have problems with migraines? These are questions I, I'm asking viewers. There's been mention of possible uh, social problems, um, not fitting in, not being one of the crowd, social, not really understanding people. Um, yeah, that could be a thing. Um, so, if you do, I've always been, I don't know, go figure, I look so normal. It's really hard to imagine that sometimes I've had problems fitting in. I'll tell you the truth, I just don't really care that much anymore. I don't mean to be offensive to anyone. I'm always polite, of course. But sometimes people think I'm a little odd. Go figure. <laughs> so, all oh, right, now we're into wild speculation time. And I'd like your opinion on this. Some people say, um, yeah, you nailed it, and other people say, wow, I think you just might be a little stupid, but that's okay, as long as, you know, as long as we're learning and entertained and have something to think about, it's good for brain to have something to think about. How am I? Oh, close enough. God, at my age, who cares? There we go. Now, here's my wild speculation. One of the comments was from a viewer, and she, um, she says she has misphonia. Now this is, I, I, I looked into this because I found this interesting, because it sounds almost like the opposite of ASMR. The Wikipedia lets you put misphonia there. That's okay, because you see, people pay attention to disease, um, this is why I love positive psychology that looks at mental health instead of mental illness. Again, um, they, they want to look at what's wrong. Misphonia is something wrong. You're unhappy. It's, it's ruining your life. A lot of the sounds that they say trigger this. Um, misphonia, it's described by someone who has it. He said it feels like an electric charge of rage. Um, shoots through his body and certain sounds trigger it. These sounds are like saliva sounds. Um, now, I don't know if the microphone's picking them up right now, but I know um, a lot of people with ASMR really like the um, little clicks in the speech. Okay, someone with misphonia will want to punch you in the head for that. Um, Um, so they get, it's, they get like rage about certain sounds, um, clicking, scraping sounds, um, mouth sounds, um, it's, uh, it's involuntary, it's triggered, and it's an automatic response, um, and so there's more known about this than ASMR, and I think that it's possible that there's a big similarity going on here, just maybe. Um, the one question I would like to ask anyone who does have misphonia is when you are triggered, do you have tingles? Now I heard electric shock um, describing it, it sounds similar. Anyway, uh, what do we know about people with misphonia? Well, there's, they say that um, if you put them under, uh, you know, those machines that look inside your brain, that they do get back a different brain image. Um, so my guess is people with ASMR probably would as well. And um, it's caused by your autonomic nervous system. This, this is what they think, which is like your lizard brain back here that controls the heart rate, your heartbeat, um, breathing, digestion, you know, um, your base body functions, having too much wiring between that 
and your limbic system, which is your higher reasoning, your speech, your imagination, stuff like that. You know, emotions. Okay. So, I'd like to liken this up to ASMR um, and say that it's perhaps possible because you're saying you're getting a physical response that you've got extra wiring between your autonomic nervous system, that part of your brain, and, am I pointing to the right side? No, you see I have left-right confusion. Right here, frontal right lobe, this feels peace and wonder and joy and euphoria right here. Now my guess is from this stuff back in there, I could, I could be wrong, my sense of direction inside my head's off sometimes, extra wiring. That's, that could be it, just, it could be the opposite of that. So there's a thought. Another thing I would like to, um, again, something close to it that I wanted to do, is I thought, okay, I'm just going to Google the symptoms and see what else comes up. So I Googled tingling, um, tingling and euphoria, tingling and euphoria, and what came up was uh, magic mushrooms. Um, and this is to say, okay, someone on a mushroom trip, what's going on inside their brain so that I can say, okay, does this have any connection? I know I'm reaching. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, they're saying that mushrooms, um, I could be wrong, like I said, I'm blonde and I'm not a neurologist, but we have a reticular activating system that tells us what we're going to choose, we get four billion pieces of information at us right now, and we're only able to choose and process 2,000, and it's our reticulated, reticular activating system that tells us which pieces we're going to choose. And they're saying that mushrooms, if you want to do this artificially, uh, let that down so you can let in all, all your sensory inputs all coming in. Um, so, could we say inside the brain of someone who's um, having ASMR, um, are, is their reticular activating system shutting down so that they can let in and become aware of, they can become aware of more sensory input. And another thing I wanted to just go after that for a minute. to go after that for a moment um, and think about it because I liken um, a mushroom trip very much to um, a state of mind I can achieve through meditating. I am a chronic meditator. I've been doing it for years. I do it every day. It's, I've gotten so that I can't get through a day without a good meditating session, at least one. Um, so again, I'm likening this to um, ASMR because of the, um, the intense interest to be able to focus right here, right now, on one thing and really hear it. That's a meditator thing. So, and I also know that um, meditating also adjusts your reticular activating system so that you are able to take in way more, take in and process more information um, and you also get the, uh, the euphoria. Now, I never, um, I never really, I could call it tingling, but not really pins and needles tingling, just a very light tingling that's, um, it feels really alive. It's like I feel really, really alive when I'm meditating or I put myself in that state where I'm very, very focused. Um, so, can, is it, just, just a thing here, help me out people, um, I'm, it's just me and one cat that, I don't know about him. Anyway, uh, I have had, after meditating, after meditating and meditating for quite a while, I, uh, I started having experiences where I felt intensely alive and a click just a little click um, sound would just snap me into something. I've heard it called a brain gasm, and I didn't have this before. So we're back to type A and type B. 
I think you can give yourself type A um, ASMR through meditating a lot. And uh, I think it's a wonderful thing to have. I think it's good to give it to people because of the relaxation response involved. Um, so many people today um, are causing damage to themselves or others through stress, chronic worry, anxiety. One of my biggest videos is um, sleep hypnosis for anxiety. It's a huge problem. It ruins lives. It ruins the life of the person. It ruins the life of everyone around them. And to have this ability to relax and to feel that joy without having to take a medication to do it. Um, by the way, I, I'm not recommending mushrooms to people, but anyway. Um, I don't take any drugs or alcohol or, or medications or anything. I, I do like a coffee once in a while. But, um, yeah, it's to be able to do that is a wonderful gift. So if you don't have ASMR, perhaps to listen to something and just hear now. That's all I know. After this, I'm really just rambling. But I would like to thank you so much if you've stuck around this long with me tonight. Thank you so much. And I want to say good night to you. Um, I don't know what kind of day you had, but you got through it. Good for you. And yeah, you're still here, you're still breathing, and you're listening to something to improve yourself. So you're getting a little better every day, aren't you? And uh, congratulate yourself for taking the time out to improve yourself. And if you leave a comment, you could be taking a little time out to improve the life of someone else. Because I know everybody's reading them, including me. And it's interesting. So have a great night. Good night. Please sleep well. If you're not at my channel down here, I have um, sleep hypnosis videos. Um, they're not the extreme whisper or the extreme soft spoken. Um, some one of my some of my more recent ones, I'm starting to lean a little more towards the softly spoken idea, uh, just because my old loud um, monotone voice um, I was told was a little annoying. And when I listened to it, I thought they might be right. Just me. So please have a good night's sleep, though. Um, relax. Enjoy your ASMR. It makes you special. It makes you smart. It makes you creative. And it gives you that wonderful ability to relax using your own stuff. Um, it's uh, super. How do how you doing with relationships and stuff like that? It'd be nice to know. Anyway, good night. Love you. Oh, I'm going to bless you again, because somebody liked that. So, I'm going to say God bless you, and if you don't believe in God, I would like to bless you, and if, um, if you don't think I have the right to be blessing people, that's okay, you can just bless yourself, that's good. I don't care how you do it, just get blessed. It's a good thing to do at night. Good night.